Hey guys, we're still here at the uh, Delamar community by Pulte Homes and we're gonna take a look at this model here. It is the Egan. I don't know where they got that um, model name but it looks like they are using different types of uh, model name Egan and this is about 3,027 square feet starting at 630,000 eight hundred eighty dollars and that's just the base price guys that's that doesn't include all the upgrades that we'll be seeing here i'm so excited because this is the first time i'm going to see this model home by delamar here in the southwest area which is a really really nice community here very quiet and let's take a look at this home together all right guys this is the egan nice um entryway here you have two car garage there and let's take a look at this home model eden by Poly homes all right smells good can smell the house it smells really good all right i am seeing a nice accent wall guys this is a really nice accent wall to have we're going to take a look at the right side first of course you have a bedroom which i really like if you have a first floor bedroom this is ideal if you wanted to retire in this kind of home so that if you no longer can afford to go to the second floor you can always have this as your bedroom now we have this beautiful um, counter for your bathroom here hello guys and you have that wow i love this um, design here let's take a look closer this is a very unique design, right? It's definitely unique. Let's close this. And I like that they chose this kind of thing here, meaning walk-in shower so that it's easier to take a bath. All right, so that is your, hello first bedroom on the first floor and we are seeing an area where I'm thinking I can put my office right because this one you can definitely close this area with a door I would choose a glass door so that I can still see the outside but put I can put like a uh, a blind there so if I wanted to have privacy but as of this moment they stage it as if you have a family member that it's in the architecture so that's your mini office area there who love this uh, openness again they've used this large linear fireplace which I highly recommend guys because it is very very nice to have that kind of modern fireplace look at this it's very open oh love this um wood accent table there right and this is your dining this is the sec the stairs going to the second floor but before we go to the second floor let's take a look at this nice kitchen here i love the color of this kitchen even though i like white cabinetry but i also like the color of this cabinet in person as you can see they have this white counter i would choose a waterfall here guys so if i have to choose i would definitely do a waterfall um because it makes the uh the island looks it will look much more modern and i don't like a bc type of counter i like a little bit of uh, just a plain one so that's just me i wouldn't choose this kind of bc island 
but I appreciate that they have an island, right? So that's your kitchen. All right, let's take a look at this area here. Oh wow, this is pretty tucked in out uh, inside. You have that storage area there. It's all the way there because this is the uh, this is under the stairs, and you have that. Um, I will definitely upgrade this into cabinets. It's not expensive to have one. Hello. And this is your laundry area. Now, the only issue that I have on here is I like that my laundry area is on the second floor because it's easier for the people to wash their clothes and carry them if they are if the laundry area is on the second floor but maybe there is no space there i think this is the garage it's currently closed so we can't go there but this is your laundry area on the second floor all right let's go back to the main area and let's check out the upper portion of this house they chose the um, the wood railing, which is not bad, right? It's still good. And I like that the uh, carpeted stairs looks really nice. But I would definitely upgrade this into hardwood flooring or better the 100% waterproof luxury vinyl flooring. So here we go. This is a loft area that you can use for your secondary TV, right? Aside from the first floor TV or a play area for your kids. They have this nice art here. You know, life has no rewind. Enjoy every moment. Sometimes I don't agree on that because some moments in life we can actually rewind. What do you think, guys? Right? I think there are some moments in life where you can definitely rewind. Not exactly the same, but you can definitely rewind it. But here is their artwork. Nice artwork. Let's see if you can go outside. Again, Pulte Homes definitely have nice balcony area look at this guys you can do your yoga here during the night and that is your view there that's the uh, southwest south point hotel i think All right so you have that balcony always nice to have a balcony like that you can enjoy if you want some fresh air. Let's take a look on this side. I believe this is the owners. Look at this staging. When you do, when you have this kind of huge space, guys, you have to use large arts, and it will double the size of the whole of the space. See how they've used large arts here because they have a large space so they maximize it in a way that they showcased a large space and I like that the windows are also huge this is a really large owner's bedroom because you still have this sitting arrangement here and this is a really nice letter because you have that TV there. So while you're uh, relaxing during the night, you can actually watch TV. Right. I also like this bedding here, guys. Look, really nice bed frame. All right, let's go to the... Ooh, love the floor here. It's light gray. Look at this. I like the green. 
and I'm seeing a huge shower there but let's take a look at this one first linen closet I love again this shape of the sink really really modern hello and the cabinetry is just really nice very very nice and of course if you're buying this kind of home you really have to have a large shower a party of five would fit in here and they chose to upgrade this kind of thing which i like also and look at this grain here it's really nice so that's your shower area you don't have a door so it makes sense right that's a nice feature there you don't have to open a door and this is your toilet area even the toilet area is massive you can have a party of two there <laughs> if you want all right that is our toilet area let's take a look at uh, this is a good size um closet area too for this owner owner's bedroom you can actually do a really nice cabinetry all the way around and then put led lighting there that would be amazing all right let's go back to the other uh, bedrooms there and see what else they offer on this home now i really appreciate that this owner's bedroom is massive and the ceiling height i believe this might be 10 if i'm not mistaken but it's massive all right so let's take a look on this side of the house you have a secondary bedroom here good size not really that big but good enough for your kids and again the huge windows make a lot of difference and wow you have a walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom Pulte homes really likes walk-in closet for their secondary bedrooms all right we're looking at this another secondary bedroom here stage for your kid right and you have that laptop there still have an area for your kid to study well so that they can achieve their dreams while looking at the stars during the night like that and you have those big windows there okay so there's a message here look at the stars look how they shine so that's the secondary bedroom there this is your AC here oh wow this is a nice counter again hello and we have a nice window here I think you have to put a blind here because you can see there is a window there on your neighbor so you have to have a blind I would put definitely a um, a shower walk-in shower here if the uh, requirement does not prevent you from putting a shower because I think you have to have one bathtub right at least in a house but uh, that's just me I like shower meaning walk-in showers rather than bathtub this is your separate toilet area let's take a look at this other secondary bedroom again stage nice as well right this is much larger um, secondary bedroom than the ones we see we saw a while ago and yeah, look at this again they have their own walk-in closet for a secondary bedroom so we're gonna go check out i think we've checked everything we have this bedroom here one two and then they share this bathroom here right three bedrooms share that one bathroom there and there's a huge linen closet here all right so i like that the master 
bedroom or the owner's bedroom is far away because that's the uh, the secondary bedroom and then your loft and then the master is here so it's definitely away from the secondary bedrooms that's the floor plan that i really like because you have to make sure you have some privacy guys if you're the owner all right we're going back to the main floor and i wanted to show you guys this main floor again one more time Yeah, and I think we haven't seen the uh, backyard, so let's check out the backyard first before we end the video because I want to make sure that we'll have an idea of how the backyard looks like. All right, so this is definitely something you can put a small jacuzzi here. You can upgrade this also they said between 20 to 40 thousand lot premium and this is the facade at the back yeah i think you can put like a small really really small pool not big or maybe like a jacuzzi here because the lot is not big so we definitely you'll have to figure out if you wanted to put like a small jacuzzi there because right now it's staged as if you are doing barbecue often so that's your backyard we're back to the main living area hey guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tour and don't forget to comment down below what do you think of this home what are the designs that you like or anything about the home please don't forget to comment down below ask me questions i read them all and if we grew this channel in the future we'll be able to tour other parts of the united states so that we can check out some home styles in other states of the united states of america and also when i travel the world in the future i'll be able to show you some houses in the other parts of the world as well don't forget to subscribe very important and also don't forget to put those bell notifications on so that you won't miss any of the videos that i'll be doing in the future again Thank you so much for your support guys on this channel i really appreciate it and for those of you that are commenting i really appreciate it thanks guys thanks guys have a great day